Hey guys, AB here from B&H, and today we're gonna take a look at four microphones for under $300 each to make your project studio sound more professional. And by the way, if you own a professional recording studio, these mics are equally at home there too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out our other reviews on gear. Now, number one, Warm Audio's WA-47 Junior. Every studio should have at least one large diaphragm microphone that can be used to record several sources. And Warm Audio's WA-47 Junior does just that. I recently had the opportunity to test a bunch of warm gear out, and I'm telling you that their product line is superb, including the 47 Junior. This mic has a really nice and smooth low end warmth to it, and the top end is clear without being too bright. It excels pretty much on anything you record, vocals, acoustic guitars, percussion, strings, brass, you name it. Also, since it's a FET microphone, it has a higher tolerance for distortion. So you can definitely use it on guitar cabinets, bass drums, and other high volume sources. The inclusion of multiple polar patterns, cardioid, figure eight, and omni, make this a true workhorse microphone for your mic locker, and it won't break the budget. Number two, Audio-Technica's ATM450. Having a capable small diaphragm condenser mic in your arsenal is really important, since they're particularly good at capturing acoustic guitars, piano, drum overheads, hi-hats, and other instruments. While there are several contenders out there in the sub $300 range, the Audio-Technica ATM4050 is a consistent favorite among recording engineers. Not only does it sound very good, but it also has a side address capsule, which makes it much more convenient to place in a setup with limited space. Think in between drums and hardware, or over the strings and hammers of a piano, for example. I've used the 450s before, and I can tell you that they sound as good, if not better, than a handful of other famous mics that cost over three times as much. Three. SE Electronics X1R. There was a time when owning a good ribbon microphone meant that you had to spend a pretty decent chunk of money, but not anymore. SE Electronics X1R ribbon mic delivers the versatility and warmth we expect to hear with good ribbons, but at a price point that makes it affordable. This is a great sounding mic, and like Warm's 47 Junior, you can use it on a lot of different sources. First off, it can handle a max SPL of 135 decibels, which means basically you can put it in front of any loud source and the mic will perform without issue. It also has an extended high frequency beyond a lot of other ribbons, so you get a bit more detail without the harshness. This is a great mic if you're looking to record vocals, drums, including the overheads, acoustic instruments, and a whole lot more. Number four, Shure SM57. Yes, this is an obvious choice, but there's a reason the SM57 has been a studio standard in terms of dynamic microphones. It could be argued that if an engineer had to choose only one mic to handle all recording duties, the SM57 would be that mic. From snare drums to guitar cabinets, presidential podiums to lead vocals on classic albums, the SM57 is hands down one of the most durable and versatile microphones ever built. And priced at roughly $100, certainly well within your budget. Every studio should have at least two of these. And now for honorable mention. USB microphones are really popular these days. And for lots of you out there doing podcasts, voiceover work, and other audio related duties, a simple USB mic setup may be the way to go. In that case, I'd recommend the Rode NT or the Blue Yeti. Both are pretty comparable in terms of features, such as an eighth inch headphone jack and controls for monitoring your mix. The Rode comes with a pop filter, while the Blue Yeti has four switchable polar patterns, giving it a bit more versatility in terms of handling different recording applications. The truth is you could actually buy both of them and still keep your budget under $300. Well, that's it for the video. If you've had some success with other mics out there, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.